Hey guys, the Langbanger here. This is my third video of uh, Generation Force card previews slash reviews. Uh, as I said in the past two videos, I'm at YCS Indianapolis slash Gen Con. So I just decided to make all these videos and I don't know exactly when they'll be up. They may become reviews because they'll go up Saturday slash Sunday and then the set will, you know, be released. Uh, not officially, but you know, the sneak previews. So, uh, yeah, let's just get rolling. First card I wanted to talk about was Levier, the Sea Dragon. It's a level 3 exceed, a rank 3, I'm sorry. Uh, keep screwing that up. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card to target one level 4 or banish monster, special summon it to your side of the field. I think this card has thousands of potential. Uh, the first thing that I thought of was like a macro deck because they actually have a lot of level 3 monsters and obviously all their cards are removed from play. That's what banished means by the way. So uh, right off the bat I thought that was pretty cool. Another thing you can actually use this with is in the plant deck because you remove cards with spore, uh, Plague Spreader can get removed if you happen to use that card. So there's definitely a lot of ways you can abuse this card. Um, I definitely would say this is the best rank 3 exceed that we have thus far. Uh, there aren't that many because there was only, you know, 3 in the uh, starter deck. Then all the ones in this set generation 4. So it's definitely going to be an interesting card. I want to see where it takes off. But... Definitely right off the bat, I thought of macro, and people are already talking about using this in the plant deck. So, and what's cool, as of now, um, if you exceed with Dandelion, then you detach it, you're going to be activating the effect. Because it's just being sent to the graveyard, and the material isn't on the field. And it, well, what I'm saying is the card doesn't say it has to be sent from the field to the graveyard, just sent to the graveyard. So, uh... Yeah, so that's definitely really cool. Uh, the next card, I can't even say this dude's name. Submeasurable Carrier Arrow Shark. Rank 3 Exceed. Uh, here we go. Sorry, I had to scroll down. Once per turn, you can detach an Exceed monster from this card. Inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each of your banished monsters. Now, I decided to talk about this card once again because... Right off the bat, I thought of macro. You're going to be getting so many cards in the graveyard. Uh, you know, you just might be able to burn them, you know, pretty well. Um, I mean, who can really say how much damage you can inflict, but it can definitely be massive because macro removes all cards from play instead of going to the graveyard. So, uh, yeah, just right off the bat, I thought of that. Um, there may be some sort of loop deck or something. Uh, psychics might be able to use this because they like removing cards. So, uh, yeah, that'll just be interesting to see if people use that card. And the last card, and perhaps maybe my favorite, just because I like weirder cards. I don't really like following the crowd, but uh, this card, Real Crusader, level 4 warrior. When a level 5 or higher monster is special summon, you must tribute this card to destroy that monster. Now this card's really, really cool. Um, has a mini Thunder King Ryo effect. Uh, the thing is, I mean, there's a drawback because it says when a level 5 or higher monster is special summon, not just any special summon. But it's just really cool because it's saying no to your opponent. Uh, now of course there's ways around it. Um, four star 1800 attack it's decent lower than thunder king though so your opponent might be able to get over it but i definitely think this card should be given a look so uh, with it being a warrior school i would really love for rota to go to like two or three just because i love toolbox but i know i'll never see that again because samurais would just be like oh hey how you doing so but uh, definitely I think you guys should try this card out. I think you guys should try out all the cards that I talked about. Uh, the three in this video, and then my two past videos that had three cards each. And I might be doing a fourth video, not sure yet, but I just have three made right now. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my previews slash reviews. Uh, and that's it for now, guys. Peace.